Hi, it's Hope and welcome to the video. This is going to be my November TBR. Now, first let's kind of go over um, how October briefly went. Um, I didn't finish two of the books on my TBR. I did not get around to reading Blood and Honor by Miranda Lynn and Nakal, Eye of the Storm by Allegra Pescatore and East Storm. I didn't get around to reading those because I was supposed to read only two books in a series and then I decided, hey, let's just finish the series, which brought it up to five books. So like, I read more than enough books that I had to, just like I didn't read the books, two of the books on my TBR. but. I am letting those two slide because in October here I had a bit of like a life change which like I got a job so an, a lot of my time is spent at my job therefore I have to do a job, be a full time student and then make these YouTube videos and read so I couldn't get as much read as I wanted to. Um, let's go on and then and then also um, I I'm not sure if I'm going to get this one book finished. I'm not sure if I'm I'm holding upside down. I'm not sure if I'm going to get red, white, and royal blue finished before the time it's November. It's currently October 28th when I'm filming this. I should be able to get it done. But there is a chance that I might like um, not get it done. So that whatever is left will just be carried over into November. This technically wasn't on my October TBR books I had to read, so like it barely counts. But now on to the actual TBR. Um, I do a Jenga. So I pick out eight different pieces and then a book that corresponds with that um, prompt. And then if the tower falls over, I have to add an extra book to the TBR that corresponds with a prompt that I picked pick from the broken tower that I can't see the prompt because some of them, if, if it falls over, it might fall onto the floor. We don't want that. Um, but let's get on to the pics. I'm wearing a different outfit in these clips because I filmed that like three days ago. Three or four days ago. So, yeah. So here is the um, Jenga Tower. Um, so I am going to pick the pieces and... I will hold them up to the camera so that you can see what they are, and then there'll be the clip, of, and then there'll be the clip of me picking what book I picked for that prompt. So, pick number one. Um, just gonna kind of start tapping around, maybe. Oh. A big book. So a book that is over 500 pages is what I classify as a big book. So for big book, I am picking A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. And this is the second book in the A Court of Thorn and Roses series. Um, you will see some more books in this series um, later on. But this series, the first book, A Court of Thorn and Roses, follows a girl named Feyre who after killing a wolf gets taken into the fairylands as her punishment and her punishment is to help um, get rid of this curse that is placed on parts of the fairy and it kind of goes from there. This is the second book in the series, my favorite book in the series. Um, I'm rereading this series because my best friend, who is just kind of starting to get, in, get into reading, decided that, hey, she might, she's thinking of picking it up sometime in November, and I want to reread the series so that I can talk to her about it. 
um, and also I was planning on reading this like January so like a few months early because of the uh, fourth book in the series coming out um, in February but I'm like well I can read it now and then I can also reread it again in January if I want to this is one of my favorite series but I am going to move on pick number two uh, maybe try one up here a debut so a debut book pretty self-explanatory the next prompt was debut and for debut i am going to be reading she's with me by jessica consolo i think that's how you pronounce her last name and this is jessica's uh debut book because it was originally a wattpad story um and i did read it originally on wattpad about two years ago i think a little over two years ago maybe like end of 2018 middle end 2018 um it is one of my favorite wattpad series um and this um follows a girl named amelia who moves to a new to moves to a new city wanting a blank slate from her um past and parts of her past end up getting brought back up after she forms this friendship with a boy named Aiden and we kind of go from there um that is pretty much all I remember and the description um kind of like wants is kind of good um one of the, the last line of the um like description on the back of the book fits the book so perfectly Amelia has an impossible choice to make between survival or the chance at real love. I love this series. Um, the second book is getting published next month and I also have an arc of the sequel to this which is um, still with me and I might try to read that this month as well but you'll see that my TBR this month is one of the biggest TBRs I think I've had if not the biggest. So yeah. Pick number three. Why do I feel like it's leaning? I felt like it was leaning for a second there. Um, ooh, one of these down here. A red cover. So a book that has a red or mostly red cover. I'll take about like half or so. This one is kind of very like well, it depends. For red cover, Akatar. I've already talked about this. So, yeah. Pick number four. Um. Oh, gosh. What? Oh, that's a bad idea, but it's the only one that I can find that's loose. Ooh, multiple authors. So a book that is by more than one author. For multiple authors, I'm going to be reading What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Um, and I'm going to read the description um, off my iPad that is kind of sitting under the camera because I don't really know what this is about. I'm, I would struggle at describing it. So. Arthur is only in New York for the summer, but if Broadway has taught him anything, it's that the universe can deliver a show-stopping romance when you, uh, when you least expect it. Ben thinks the universe needs to mind its business. If the universe had his back, he wouldn't be on his way to the post off office carrying, his, carrying a box of his ex-boyfriend's things. But when Arthur and Ben meet cute at the post office, what exactly does the universe have in store for them? Maybe nothing. After all, they get separated maybe everything after all they get united but what if they can't quite nail a first date or a second date or a third what if arthur tries too hard to make it work and ben doesn't try hard enough what if life really isn't like a broadway play but what if it's us so it's like two people meet kind of go from there i'm excited to um read this because 
everything that I have read a few uh, I've read three books by Adam Silvera and have loved them and then I have read one book from Becky Avatali and have loved it so I am excited to see if I like this one I don't know pick number five Why are you... Oh, the... Nope, absolutely not. Not that one. Oh, okay. Ooh, lowest rated. So I have to... So I have to go on to Goodreads and sort by lowest rated and pick the lowest rated book that is released that I have a copy of. Okay, and for lowest rated on TBR... I'm going to be reading The Fascinators by Andrew Eliopus. I am probably butchering that last name and I know it. But this only has a 3.36 rating, which kind of scares me. But it sounds really interesting. So, um, I'm going to be reading the description off here. Because I haven't read this description since I think I mentioned it in a video like a couple months ago. It was the last time I read the description. Um, so, I don't know really what it's about from the top of my head, so I'll read it out loud. Living in a small town where magic is frowned upon, Sam needs his friends James and Delia and their time together in their school's magic club to see him through graduation. But as soon as senior year starts, little cracks in their friends group begins to show. Sam may or may not be in love with James. Delia is growing more frustrated with her amateur magic club and Jane James reveals that he got mixed up with some sketchy magicers over the summer, putting a target on all their backs. With so many fault lines threatening to derail his hopes for the year, Sam is forced to s Sam is forced to face that the very love of magic that brought his group together is now tearing them apart. And there and there are some problems that no amount of magic can fix. That it just sounds very interesting interesting to me. It's going to be like set in a kind of like is going to be like a contemporary setting, but there's magic, which is something that I always love. Um, and of course, it's LGBTQ, which is always a good thing for books. I always tend to love them. So, yeah. Pick number six. This is really hard. None of them are wanting to come. That one's wanting to come, but that will knock it over. I know that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. My choice. So, my choice of a book. I will have one picked, but at any point in the month, if I want to switch that book out, I have free reign to switch out this, this my choice pick. Next we have for my choice. My choice, I am going to pick um, The Blood of Olympus by uh, Rick Riordan, which is the fifth and final book in the Heroes of Olympus series, um, where we follow um, Greek and Roman demigods having to do this, go on this big epic quest, and that is all I'm going to say. This is the fifth book in the series. Um, yeah. But if, but if sometime in the month I decide I don't want to read this or I want to use one of a different book that I want to read or need to read this month as a um, my choice, I can. Um, I'll mention what book I switch. If I switch this book up with something, I'll mention that in my wrap up for November. Um, but. I'm setting this as a book, but if I don't get it finished and pick something else, I can. Pick number seven. I want one of these ones, but like they're not budging. Oh. Genre I usually don't read, so the genres I typically read are fantasy and contemporary, so something that doesn't fit into one of those genres. 
for genre I usually don't read, I am going to be reading The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee, and this is the sequel to A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, but it is like a sequel, but it's more of a companion book in in The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. We follow um, Felicity, who is on a pirate ship type thing and is traveling, the, I think, like, Europe um, and all of that. I honestly know nothing about this book. I know that I love the first book in the series and I have a feeling I'm going to love this book as well. Um, I don't want to go in knowing anything, really. All I know is we follow a character named Felicity going on a trip with pirates and eventually finding romance, and that is like all I know, I think. It could be wrong, but I want to go in knowing nothing, so I'm not going to say much because I don't want to spoil myself. I don't even want to read the description because I know a little bit, of, I know enough about it that I'm excited. And pick number eight. Do I go with this one? No, that will definitely fall over. Let's pick one from like this side or something. Or. Oh gosh. Come on, something pop out. That will fall over though. Oh gosh, this might fall over. Oh my gosh, this might fall over because I can't like these, oh, because that bottom one is coming. <gasps> oh, it's like, that much it's like that much oh you can like see it's gonna fall it's going to fall and that means I have to add a book I don't want to do this anymore I've never had it fall before I'm gonna do this just so that it doesn't fall all over my lap and all over the floor. <laughs> yep, I knew that was gonna happen, but... <laughs> okay, the one that I had in my hand was Green Cover. For Green Cover, I am going to be reading A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Maas, and this is the third book in the Akatar series, um, again, already mentioned it, I'm planning on trying to read the entire series. I mean, when I first read the series back in March, it didn't take me that long. That was ebook, and these are pretty chunky books, so, yeah. And from this mess, I'm just going to pick a random one from I'm just gonna pick a random one from this mess I cannot I can only see I can see a couple of the covers over here but I have no idea which one I'm gonna go with this one right here I have no idea what it is I'll show you before I show me a pink cover I'm going to pick another one on top of the 8th this month. Um, doesn't really help me out that much. Um, but yeah, that's the first time that's happened to me how, that the tower has fallen. It was just very unstable today and a lot of them on the one side were only coming out versus the other side. So yeah. And then for pink cover, we have The Library of Fates by Aditi. Korana? I am probably butchering that last that last name. Um, but I don't know much about this. Um, basically, all I know about this and all I understand of it is we follow a uh, princess of a country and a, a different country comes and visits and 
the palace ends up going under siege and chaos, and then our main character um, ends up who ends up uh, meeting up with a slave that the other country brought with them, and managed to escape in the chaos. And they have to like figure stuff out. I don't know. Even like, and it's like they end up in this place called the Library of Fates, where it's like. A library that can change your fate I think I don't even really understand that much um, even the description kind of is like um I don't understand half of what's going on but I'm ex um, but I'm excited to read this it's a standalone I believe um, which is good because I have about a million series started it feels like um, so yeah so those are the main books that I also that I plan on reading. There are a few other physical books that I'd like to get through. Um, first would be A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. This is the novella um, for the Actar series. Um, this one, if I don't get it finished, I'll probably read it in December. Um, I did just read this in June, so a lot of it's so fresh. But if I'm rereading the other books, I feel like I have to reread this book. I also wouldn't mind getting around to In the Afterlight by Alexandra Rackin, and this is the third book in the Darkest Mind series. I read the, uh, the first two in May, I think it was, um, and this has been on my TBR forever. I got a co I just got a copy of it last month. I'm really wanting to read it, so yeah. And then this one I. This next book I need to read, um, and that is The Cerulean by Amy Ewing, e Amy Owing, I don't know, and this I, um, for my one English class, we have to pick a fantasy or sci-fi book for a novel study thing, and I wanted to pick the first book in a series, a series that I haven't read, um, and stuff like that um, and this was one that I am really interested in it sounds very interesting um, I am excited to read this one this is probably out of all of these like extra books I am most likely to read because I need to read it um, for my English class and also it's most excited I might also switch this out and make this a my choice but and like that leaves me with eight books, which the most book, physical books I've ever read in a month is seven. Um, and all of those were like shorter books. And these are like, a lot of them are over like 400 pages. I think all but like two or three are over 400 pages. So like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna get them finished. I also, for um, like eBooks, I wouldn't mind continuing the A Darker Shade of Magic series. I also wouldn't mind uh, reading the final book in uh, the Raven Cycle series, um, The Raven King. Um, there's like a lot of books that I want to read. Um, and like, yeah, I had the 8th plus the ninth from The Tower Falling. Um, and all of that, but yeah, I have like 9 plus books on my TBR. Um, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, and you'll stick around to see my mid-month wrap-up. Um, hopefully I'll film one of those. I did do the last two months, which, but that makes my end-of-the-month end wrap-ups wrap chaotic. So I'm going to try to do one for November, um, and then stick around for my end-of-month wrap-up wrap to see what books I re read, what books I didn't. Um, and, yeah. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have said that way too many times, um, but yeah, bye!